Now, Alison, you've got quite a tale, really, haven't you? Yes, uh, you ordered your passport, what, more than six weeks ago. Tell me what happened. I applied for my passport online on the 27th of April. Um, even, oh, I was just changing my name, but they still charge you £74, so you're applying for a new passport. Um, sent it off in the post, have heard nothing back from them, and suddenly thought, you know, five, four and a half weeks were going, I haven't heard anything back, I'll phone them which is a story in itself because you are actually unable to speak to the passport office now. You just get a helpline which can't tell you anything. They just log the fact you've called. Over the next eight, nine days, I was trying to phone to speak to somebody for three, four times a day, hanging on for half an hour to numbers that weren't being answered, or speaking to someone and all they're saying is we, all we can do is email them and give them the message. So frustration, I'm trying to do this in work, which is not really acceptable, is it, in work time? Getting nearer and nearer, I'm going to France on Friday, which is the day after tomorrow. So basically, didn't have a passport, couldn't speak to anybody, which is what has caused me huge amounts of stress because of the fact you just cannot speak to anybody. So ultimately, you went to your MEP and MP, didn't yes, you? Yes, ultimately, I decided I'm just not going to be going on holiday. This just isn't going to happen. Everything's paid for, non refundable. So I actually went to my MP, MEP, and I then Googled and found, having seen a story in the newspaper where the CEO of the passport office is saying there is no problem, I decided to find his contact details and I emailed him and asked for a reply, telling him what my situation was, explaining the situation, and all I've been asking for is to get to the Newport office, which is five miles from my home, to go in, do a passport, pay, do whatever I had to do, just to get my passport. But they said that you couldn't go to the Newport office, so and that's why you're here in Liverpool. Exactly. So basically, nine o'clock the next morning, I do actually get a call back. So even though I've been promised them for nine days, never had a phone call back, never actually spoken to anybody, I get a phone call, basically the crux of which I was told I couldn't go to Newport, they couldn't transfer my case. All they could do was cancel it and do a new one, which I wouldn't be guaranteed to see anyone within three weeks at the Newport office. So you've had to come up here in Liverpool, you've had to hire a car, was, book yourself into a hotel, take time lose off work. two days' work. How much does all this cost you? About £500. So, so I, how, do you th how do you feel about this when all's said and done? Because, well, let's see, you've got your passport I now anyway. Let me just say that. It's been a rocky road, but you it's have been, it now. But, but again, how do you feel morning, about this whole process then? extremely stressed out, which has been completely unnecessary, just complete lack of communication, complete lack of it, and the fact, you know, that you're not able to do anything. You, don't, you can't get any information out, which is the most difficult part of it. The Home Office said there's no backlog. This is just an extremely busy time of the year. Um, you have another view, then? Well, the fact they've closed the Newport Passport Office and moved it, I believe, roughly two years ago, cut the staff down to half. The gentleman that phoned me actually told me they have 4,000 emails from the helpline waiting to be opened and answered. And he told me that even if, even if I did any work, do whatever, they couldn't guarantee my only option was to come to Liverpool, which is a four-hour drive.